All right, noobs, shut the f up, sit down, strap in. We're about to learn more logic. If you've not seen the first logic video, click it somewhere. It's also in the description. Do that because this might confuse you. Anyway, let's go. What are we doing today? We're going to be doing a logic timer. Now, why do we need to learn this? I have no idea, but it's a good example to learn some stuff. So let's click it together. And as you can see, in time, it just changes the resource. Yes. Right, so let's start from the beginning. We need to click our processor and link it up to the unloader. This one's called unloader one. Yours might be different, so just keep an eye on that. And before you start warming your little fingers to be like, well, you know what? You can make time this way and you can make time. Yeah, I know you can make time like 70 different ways. I don't care. This is just one way I'm going to make time. So shut the f up, buckle in and listen up. F we back. We back. Okay, so now we have to create time. The way I'm doing it is nothing to do with seconds or anything. We're just creating time as a number. So let's set time equals zero because time needs a number. We will then make an operation saying time equals time plus one. Don't worry, this will make sense once we glue it all together. We'll make a jump. So if time is smaller than 50, jump up to here. And then we need to control configure because we want to change the unloader to a different resource. Enable, we just turn it on and off. So configure. Unloader one, two, at copper. So if you ever want to change to a resource, you just have to put at then the resource name. So how does this read? So at this point, time is zero. It jumps to this line because the processor jumps a line by line. It jumps to this line and says time is now one. It goes to here. Time is still one, but the time is less than 50. So it's going to jump back up to here, changing time to now two. So it's going to keep looping round, saying three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once it gets to uh, 50, it's going to jump to this line. And then it's going to change the unloader to copper. So if we want to change it to lead now, all we have to do is copy all this. So I'll now do another set time equals zero um, and then an operation of time equals time plus one and then another jump if time is less than 50 now we could change the number as well so obviously if i put that to 100 we would get, you know, more lead. Um, and then I'll just copy this. Unloader to lead. Now make the jump here. And that looks all correct to me. So now you can see it alternates between lead and copper. Now let me just show you a quick example with the processor. So if we use the faster processor and we hook this up to some fluid because I got in trouble last time for not doing it. So that's working out. Let's copy all of this. So edit, copy to clipboard. I'll stop that from working and we'll now link this processor up and import from clipboard. Now you can see it's completely different. It's not working as it was with this. It's because this processor 
is going down the lines a lot faster. So it's going super speed. So if I just change that to 500 and 500, it should start making it a bit more even. Yeah, it's just the different speeds. So I've went in and added the two more resources. So we have all these four being switched from the microprocessor. If you want to look inside, pretty straightforward. We're just copying it. There's one, two, three, and then the last one. And remember, you can change the time on each of them to give out different amounts of the resource. Now, one last thing, if you wanted to control two unloaders at the same time, how would we do that? So let's copy this one across and link it up. The microprocessor now needs to be attached to the second unloader and it's now called unloader two for this one. Now, what do we do? It's literally so straightforward. All you have to do is copy the control and say unloader two. So now when it gets to um, 50, it will switch both of these and then go to the next line. So let's just copy it for all of them. Unloader two, copy this and unloader two. And the last one, unloader two. And they are in sync and in harmony. Lovely. So that's the next example. As I said, I have no idea why you would want to use this, but play around and maybe there is a good concept. I just can't think of it. Remember to stick around for the next few episodes because we're going to start getting a bit more complicated. Unloaders are just a really good way to get you started. So thanks once again. Take care and catch you next time. I just, I just have to let this roll for like 20 seconds for the end screen. I know it's kind of awkward. Click, click something.